Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a quick look at iDisk. So iDisk is part of the Mobile Me service. It's a virtual disk drive stored on the internet. You can access it from your Mac and you can also have others retrieve files from it. In the book, the MacMost.com Guide to Switching the Mac, I give the basics for using an iDisk. Let's take a look. Apple realizes that sharing files over the internet is difficult because of router and IP address issues. That's why built into the very core of their MobileMe service is a file sharing device called iDisk. If you have MobileMe, you have an iDisk. To connect to it, go to Go and iDisk in the Finder. You have three options. My iDisk, Other Users iDisk, and Other Users Public Folder. The first is to connect to your own iDisk as you might expect. The second is to connect to someone else's iDisk if you have their password. The last is to connect to the public folder of another person's iDisk. You can also use the other user's iDisk option to connect to your iDisk when using another machine, say when you're traveling. It could come in handy. So if you want to share files with another Mac user and you have MobileMe, just put the files in your public folder on your iDisk and then instruct them on how to find it using of course Go, iDisk, and other users' iDisk. Use the System Preferences Mobile Me settings to set up how your iDisk works. With the Set Password button you can set a password for your public folder. Then you'll have a password protected public directory on the internet that you can use to share files easily iDisk even works with Windows. If you give out your public.me.com slash username web address to anyone, they can access your public folder from a web browser. So if you use MobileMe, iDisk is a great way for you to store files remotely or share them with others. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.